Hey guys, Joseph Rotterbach here. I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak the iPad, iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, both both boot ROMs, iPod Touch 4G, iPod Touch 3G, and iPod Touch 2G, both boot ROMs, untethered on 4.2.1. Yes, I repeat, untethered, without SH your 4.2, 4 4.3 SHSH blobs. Okay, so to get started, you're going to need to go to greenpoison.com and download the version of Green Poison depending on your computer software version. For example, his Mac and Windows. Linux is currently under construction. And I'm using Windows, so I've downloaded the Windows version. So when you've downloaded Green Poison, double click on greenpoison.exe. Make sure iTunes is quit. Make sure your device is connected to your computer. Right now it's connected, and make sure it's powered off. Okay, now there's a button saying prepare to jailbreak, DFU. It's going to give us a, some, some steps to put your device into DFU mode. So we'll click prepare to jailbreak. Okay. Press and hold the sleep button, two seconds. Then, continue holding sleep, but press the home, but press both for ten seconds. Then release the power button, but carry on holding the home button till, till Green Poison's device, DFU timer goes blank. Okay, your device is now connected, and it's in DFU mode when it says ready to jailbreak. You may get some drama installation, but just run it again. Jailbreak. I press jailbreak. Jailbreaking, it says. White screen. Okay, and we've got, I don't know if you can see that, but just some text up there. Jailbreaking, it says on the computer, Looks like it's um, uploading the jailbreak. Jailbreak complete. Now we can click quit, and it's running some 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 commands on this iPhone. I iPod, it's booting it in verbose. Is he jailbreaking? Oh, sorry. Okay, and the Apple logo flips to show the Green Poison logo. This is the custom boot logo that will exist on iPods and iPhones, not iPads. Strangely, I didn't get that either. Now it's going to boot. Again with the custom logo. And as you can see, it is now got a new application called Loader. Okay. Okay, now for the second part of the video. Okay, once your device has been jailbroken, launch Loader. And it will say Loading Sources. And over there you will see Cydia, which in case you don't know, it's a jailbroken app store. So press Cydia, install Cydia. And it says downloading, it's going to download Cydia. Are we back? Okay, and it says extracting then success. Once we go to the home screen, it's going to respring. We'll just, okay, it's actually going to reboot. Okay, we'll just let it reboot.
Okay, we'll slide to our lock. And there we have it, Cydia. So now we'll just need to let it initialize file or system. But, okay, I'll come back. Okay, slide to our lock. And there you have it, working Cydia. Okay, our developer, this one could be user. Select, well, most for most people you'd select user, but, and there's also hacker and developer. But I just said user for the average user. And city is going to load up. And there you have it, a fully jailbroken device on 4.2.1. Okay, this is Joseph Rotabach Video Productions. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.